in the dream, ten knee deep into this music team with all the work to do with that. So fighting out of the boot corner. We got Brendan Thomas fighting out of Scott Potts. And fighting out of the red corner. Fighting out of Windsor, we got Brandon McCormick. Amateur C class rules, three rounds of three minutes. Here we go. Come on, Joe, so welcome back to GQK 36 for the fourth fight of the evening. We've got Brooklyn Thomas from Stockport in the blue corner and Brandon McCormick from Winsford in the red. Says he is Brooklyn's debut and Brandon is 1-0-0. Both of the guys looking really, really ready to go in the face-off earlier on. And as you can see, it's right into the action. Thomas trying to drive for that double round, maybe. Two on one, two on one. Wide face, Brandon. Good luck. Wide break, Chris. A bit of a hand fight going on here. Third round. Now this is third round. Take him to the cage. It's weight heavier over there. Oh, I'm broken with this. It's searching for that double leg all the way through that. Brandon, push his head down, bring the leg over. Brandon, cross face. Brandon's hard making Brandon. Oh, I'm making it hard for uh, Brooklyn to cross face. Hey, Brandon, cross face. Keep your arm over. That's it. Lift him off. Get the leg over now. Go. Brandon, shrimp out. Brandon, shrimp to me. Brandon's frames doing out. heavy damage to Brooklyn in terms of control. It's a nice steady top pressure from Thomas here, taking his time, not rushing, confident in his position. It's really hard to actually appreciate how hard both guys are working in this position. There's a lot going on, but there's so many small little, little details going on all the time. Every single time, one of the one of the guys feels a little bit of a shift. You've got to adjust to to accommodate the level of control that you've got. Just constant like, micro adjustments going on. Heavy strikes there. Great finish round. Really all you've got in that first round there is a heavy top position from Thomas. Yeah, I think I think that comes down to the control of the fight. There was some big uh, some big strikes from uh, Brandon in the in the final closing seconds of that match, uh, that round, but I, I think the top pressure for as long as it was, I think that would have scored that in the judges' eyes, really. Yeah, I mean, I think some victim of the rule set there, obviously with these two guys being young guys, C class rules, and strikes at the end of the round. Completely the difference to this would have been a headshot strike, there would have been a lot more weight to that strike. would have been ironed out I think and they'll come out fighting a little bit harder in this round. Right, 
Makes that exchange out. And going for that double leg again. Big scroll by Brandon. Yeah, I think he's getting to the point with that double leg. He's driving. He's trying to... He has time to connect the hands. He can actually pick the guy up. Yeah. Finish it down there. He's trying to finish it in the other way. He's just blocking the back of the knees. McCormick's got such a strong scroll. Yeah. He's able to defend that style of takedown well. There's a slight height difference as well, and that, that really comes into uh, the equation here. This allows him to get hit very far back. But as the first round, Thomas here not giving up on that single double leg sword to exchange his position. Yeah, he pulled Finished it off. in the first round. Yeah, he pulled it off last time. That's it. Come under his neck now. Come under his neck, man. Work his arm. It's an awkward position for McCormick. He's sprawled his head, he's in top position, but he knows if he gets any, any sort of relief from that weight. Thomas is going to finish the double. Yeah, you can see Thomas uh, trying to serve the round to his left hand side slightly, but Brandon is doing a great job of, of just covering that position, throwing him back square to his body. But that was a nice knee to the body as he stood up there. It's another one there as well. Working against the fence here. Control. It's a tidy position for Thomas Bento, the pass is broken. Open, ever relentless on that single leg takedown. McCormick, take down the fence. He keeps them hips fall back, which keeps the legs fall back, which stops him. Uh, keep your leg out, keep your leg out, look! Rip! 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 Maybe you could work some of those knees to the legs and just touch the body. Oh, Thomas looking to catch the knees as they go into the body and keep going to single off it. The strikes of the legs now. Knees could add up towards the... as the fight closes to the end, maybe in the third round if we go there. Put your legs on there. Take the there with a really nice. Connect the And there we go. We connect hands. That goes in. looked like it was in them, but just popped out as uh, shifted. Interesting round. I mean, it was essentially McCormick from a top position defending the whole round. He was defending the takedown. In, in, you know, in a dominant landing strike, but constantly defending yeah. Thomas' attack. Yeah, I think those strikes in that round, especially um, to the uh, to the legs, and then a few to the body in the later part of that round. I think that would have just hit that in the judge's eyes, really. Yeah, the knee strike there with, with the only real. So obviously, McCormick being in control with that sprawl for the majority of that fight. What well, hats off to for being completely uh, determined to get that leg. Pulled it off in the first round. Got a nice um, reversal in this round. Yeah, I mean, he, he finished the round over in his own corner and he listened to his own corner when they were telling him to connect the hands. He's got to connect the hands before he runs the double because McCormick's sprawl is so strong that just blocking the knees isn't enough. He listened to his corner and as soon as he did that, he hit the takedown. But unfortunately, it was a bit too little too late in that round. Let's see how we're working out this third round now. And with the touch of gloves, one way again. Final round. in the second round don't really look like they've uh, affected Brooklyn. Still looks a really light on his feet. Ref calling time. Thomas is caught him on the chin. Just glancing off the chest. It's the unfortunate part of the, uh, the class that we're fighting at at the minute, the C class. It is no strike bit, to the head. Yeah, it's a bit difficult because you throw the shots to the body. You can't do that you touch the chin. You kind of touch the chin onto the shot. The shot is not thrown at the chin. It finds its way there. Yeah, you, you can definitely tell that they aren't thrown with any malice uh, or intention to hit Thomas 
out looking for the running locust. Hey, And again with a counter, that was a counter I took over the top straight to the chair. I don't think there's any arguing with that one. Just doing talking to there from the referee. Point reduction for any more fouls. The first one was there, but that, that final one was a nice right.